Hello, Performance Ninja. I hope you had a fun time working on Compiler Intrinsics 1 lab assignment. Congratulations if you are able to achieve the required speedup, and if you just want to see the solution, continue watching this video. As usual, let's build the benchmark and measure the baseline. So we have 26.7 microseconds running time per iteration. It's not hard to find the hottest place in this lab assignment. I'm sure most of you found it. It is this loop on line number 27 in solution.cpp. And let's take a closer look at what this code is doing. Here I show you the sketch of an algorithm. To calculate i element of the output, we take the difference of the input elements with indexes i minus radius and i plus radius. Kind of a sliding window approach. Then, to calculate i plus one element of the output, we take the difference of the input elements in a similar way, but also we accumulate previous value of current sum. This is known as a prefix sum problem. The baseline code that does that computation is not vectorized by Clang 12 compiler because it doesn't know how to deal with the prefix sum portion. Calculating diffs of input elements in a SIMD fashion is not a problem here, but doing vector prefix sum is a little tricky. Here I show the sequential way of doing prefix sum. You are probably already familiar with this simple algorithm and wrote plenty of such loops on lead code and other resources. But doing it in a SIMD fashion is a little bit tricky and requires log n steps. We take the elements of an array, shift it by one element and add initial values to it. Then we repeat the process, but shift it by two elements. And here is an example that demonstrates correctness of our approach. Feel free to pause the video and make sure you follow all the diagrams here. Here I show the vector prefix sum for an array of four elements. If we would have eight elements, then we would need to do another shift right by four elements and another add, but the idea stays the same. And now that we know the algorithm, let's take a look at how it can be implemented. Here I show you the algorithm that we just described coded with SSE intrinsics. Let me go through the code line by line and explain how it works. As we said, we will have a loop which will process a vector of eight elements per iteration. So here we first initialize the pointers to the input and output arrays and broadcast the current sum to the whole vector. And so the first thing we do inside the loop is we calculate the vector differences of input elements. And here is the code that does that. This intrinsic loads 64 bits of eight 8-bit integers into a vector that we will subtract. Then we widen each value in our vector by converting a vector of 8-bit integers into a vector of 16-bit integers. We do that because the output holds 16-bit values. Then we repeat it for the vector that we will add and we calculate the difference. This piece of code actually does prefix sum for eight elements in a SIMD fashion. You can notice here we shift first by one element, then by two, and finally by four elements. Here we do left shifts instead of right shifts because of the endianness. In the end, we store the result and broadcast the last output value into the current sum to prepare for the next iteration of the loop. After we are done with the vector loop, we increase our position by adding the number of elements we processed in a vector fashion. And notice, we also keep the sequential loop to process the remainder of the loop. So yeah, that's the code. Let's check that the benchmark still validates, and it is. And also, Let's benchmark again to make sure that we improve performance. And indeed, you see the runtime goes down to just 8 microseconds 
which is almost three times the improvement. All right, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. As a bonus exercise, you can try implementing it with AVX2. Disclosure, you should see a little bit better results than SSE. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next lab assignment.